Hey there folks, Tango Tan here with another episode of Airport CEO. So there's been a few changes from last time. First of all, the little terminal's all gone. This is now up and running. And if we go down here, you can see I've even got the franchises running reasonably well now. Um, and we've made a, a tiny profit. Um, just so we can get things going quite quickly. Um, so that's the plan. And I've started to do a little bit of decor, just sort of experimenting. Um, so the plan today is we're going to look at the large aircraft, which we're going to build over here. Oh, and unlock these two. <laughs> yeah, there's been a bit of progress. Um, I'm thinking that we might bring in the little airplanes at some point, but actually I think we might use this bit as a bit of a de-icing area. Speaking of which, I think we've just unlocked it. We have indeed. Perfect. So in fact, you know what? Let's quickly get this in. This shouldn't take too long um, to get the... In fact, you know what? A different day. We said big airplanes, we're going to focus on big aircraft. And because we've never actually managed to get through to actually getting the large aircraft in. So we're going to go straight into planning mode. We're going to keep an eye on our cash um, because that is something we do need to do. Um, just to make sure we don't start making massive losses suddenly. In which case we might have to throw in the little planes all over again. So, first of all, planes. Let's start with a runway. I think that's always a good start. Ooh, these are big. Um always good to start off with a runway. I think we might just mirror this design on the opposite side here. So we're going to have a bigger runway. We're going to leave a little bit of a gap for it. Okay. I, th I genuinely think one would be enough. So I'm not going to... I'm going to plan for two. Yeah, I'm going to plan for two, but I'm only actually going to put in the one for now. And I think these ones need a, a gap of at least seven. How big are the gaps on here? Let's have a little look. Uh, so that gap is gap of nine, and this is a gap of five. I think we do need a gap of seven. In fact, you know what? It's probably an easy way of knowing that. So if we go here, large, concrete, exit off. That doesn't help me one bit. Actually, it does. It kind of gives us an idea of the, the rough gap. So we'll put that there. I don't think this is spending any money. No. Only when you build it does it actually spend the money. So how big are these little tiles here? One, no, in fact. Yeah, I was right. It's a gap of seven. So, and that is a gap of six. So if we go six high. So we go to here. If I put the runway in on the other side of that. And aim it roughly. Hang on, runway. That guy. To sort of coincide with there. I think that should be okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's try that, and we'll just throw in the entrance and exit. So we're going straight to concrete with this one. In fact, what we could do is on here. Uh, da -da -da, entrance exits. Where are they? There they are. We've got flat. So I'm going to put you flat there. Flat. Downside to the big these big ones is that they don't give us much space. Um, they really don't. Now here's the next question: Is do we think that would be enough space to get this off here? If I put that there. If I go for another one of these, come on, and that guy here. Would that be enough space for them to land and come off? Only one way to find out. Anyway, that's the plan there. Okay, so then what we've got? We've got this weird network, haven't we? So let's go to um, this guy, concrete. I I already know this is going to cost a fortune. So we're going to bring. Actually, you know what? Thinking about it, we're not going to have anywhere near as much stand, so we don't need the two. There you go. That will save us a, a nice fortune. Um, even though, yeah, 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 that's what we're gonna do. Now I know in, in I know this was pre-release of it, but you, the newer maps actually have much a much bigger, considerably bigger. So we don't run into this problem of not having enough space, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna bring that to about there. I'm gonna get you. I'm just gonna connect you up to there. And seven is that, which looks in my mind looks really skinny. Yeah, 
But that's seven there, so I'm assuming that was wide enough for it all. Okay, now we need to get the parking. Then we'll worry about terminals afterwards. Now these are bigger, yeah, they're a lot bigger. So I reckon if we get the parking... Do we do something very different this time? Do we just go... Okay, I can't do delete it like that. If I get rid of you, can we use you to delete that? Yes, we can. And we park there. And we rotate you around to something that looks... I'm going to give it a gap, because I don't trust that. I'm going to put one there. One there. Then I'm going to rotate these round. And we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to leave a gap of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. How big is that? Three, ah, I can't count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That, that looks a bit better in terms of how big this should be. And then I'm going to stick these two. One, two. I'm going to do that because I'm... This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we could have a terminal in here. We could then have the main block of the terminal back here. So let's do a nice big chunk. You come down and then you fill in here. That's a hundred thousand. That's a million there. And then we do similar to a start style of entrance to that here. In fact, you know what? We don't even need to do similar. Because if I go down... Oh, <laughs> I'm a genius. We could just do it here. We could do one of these entrances just here. So if I go down... Just copy that there. Like that. So it could just be something that looks like this. Yeah, that, that I think would be okay, actually. And then we have all the stuff in here. So we have security in here, baggage in there somehow. Well, we're going to have top floor anyway to all of this. So let's pencil that in as well. So this is going to be the top floor to it all. I get the feeling 7 million isn't going to be anywhere near enough for this. Because, I mean, that's 200,000. It's almost our hourly profit, you know. <laughs> Um, that's all fine there. That's going to need to have a little bump up here. In fact, probably just do it there. Don't come up here. That's going to go there. Baggage. God, where's that going to go? Because that's going to have to be something separate. Would the baggage fit in that? This guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yes. Must be places because yeah, that's fine. Baggage, there's well baggage bag between it all. I think six like that will be quite will work quite well, and then we can link up the service stuff over this side through here. Okay, next thing we do before we do any of that, we do need to th sort the fences out. So we got fences here, and I think this fence can come straight to the border there. That locks all of this here off. We've still not built that runway. I think we're okay. I'm gonna actually get that fence bring it down to here okay we're then gonna keep that there we're gonna bring this fence straight up to here and then we're actually gonna connect it to there because if animals get into this part it's not a problem it's only if they get into this part does it become an issue and I think that's all right so let's let's do that let's do that right, I'm gonna get as much of this built and then we'll be back as soon as we can. All right, see you in a second, guys. That took a lot longer than I expected. I'll be honest, and we're still not finished. So I've got it up and running, almost. I've just got a temporary flight going to make sure we, we don't completely lose all our funds because we were getting very close to going bust. So it's a very jank setup, similar to what we did when we had these going. Okay, but other than that, we seem to be working, and I think I've worked out how the international zoning things work. So we've got all of that to work out, um, but th for the rest of the episode, I think, what we're going to do is going to start planning this out now. Um, and, and how to get, and hopefully we'll have enough funds to sort of try and get some of that top... Well, actually, no. We've got... That will get built, 
and then we'll have funds to deco up the rest out. Yeah, that's there you go. That's that's what I'm on about. See, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so I want to try and automate as much of this as possible because it means we don't have to worry about staff. And that's always a bonus. So what we're going to do, we're going to straight into planning mode um, while we do this. So this is, um, and then we're going to have a look at the international zones in a moment. But I want to get that top floor built. So while we do that, let's get the game going full, full running pace or my normal playing pace. Oh, we also need to do this as well. The airport lounge bits. That will be something, yeah, we do need to focus on. Right, let's get some of this up. First of all, we want signage. We want people to know when they come in, where they go. So we're going to have a couple of signs in like that. So no excuse not to miss to miss your flight. We'll put a couple of information desks in. It's a big foyer, isn't it? Okay, so we'll have one there. We'll put one there, and we'll have one there, and then we'll decor that back part somehow. And we'll do something similar on this side. So there, there, and there and we'll worry about decoration later so check-ins that's the information check-in now i definitely want to go with the automated check-in desks uh, okay so it needs a baggage drop off first okay that's fine we can work on that so i'm thinking we're going to put baggage over this way and we're going to put in yeah we need to find a, a good solution to the checkout system because at the moment we haven't really got it i mean we we kind of have here we need a little bit more work on it, but here really haven't. So I think you may be checking this side baggage claim sort of over this area. Okay, anyway, so let's sort this out. So we're going to put some of these guys in. So we're going to go one. Yeah, because we we'll probably put a shop or something in here. Yeah, so let's, let's bring this further back then. How far forward? Okay, so it's here's the wall. Okay, so we've got a fair old oh, distance out. Temporarily put that there. I'm just going to do this. Let's put a line in. I know it's not ideal. And what about the wall up here? Okay, so that kind of comes in there. So if I put that there, drop down, and come down. Okay, so ooh, all of that bit on the inside of that box is upstairs, essentially. So we only have to worry about this downstairs function. And for that, we need desks. We need to go here. We need to go to here. We need to get rid of that one then. So I reckon we could put a couple of shops and things in here. So I'm thinking we put, put a store, coffee shop, maybe two. And we... Huh. How can we do this so it so it'd work? Okay. We're going to put baggage right at the back here. Right. Now, there is madness, reasons for madness. Because the idea is, if you put it as far away as possible, then people will be forced to walk through all the shops. And I'm hoping, I don't know, I don't think it simulates in-game. Um, but it would be cool if it did. Um, so here, we want... How are we going to... I don't want people... One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll get rid of that one. So we'll get baggage. Okay, hang on, I've got an idea. Why is it gone out of planning mode? Back into planning mode. That one. So we're going to go to you. Get rid of you for a second. We're going to put one, two. There. Right, if we do that, then we can get rid of that. Get rid of these because we can wall them off. Then I'm thinking we do one, two, three, one, two, three. So six should be plenty. Not there. Three, two, three. So we do something that looks like this, and we can do one, two, because then we can grab a wall piece. And uh, no, it'd have to, the wall piece would have to be here like that and not here that means that can't go there because we still need to conveyors still need to be able to drop down so if we rotate you around get rid of you get rid of you put you in there you in there and that then should give me enough space to drop conveyors down yeah okay 
that's that. So if we can, can we copy this whilst it's in plan? Oh, we can. So we're gonna put one, two, three. Oh, this is a big space. I didn't think we had that much space. Okay. Maybe we don't need this far back then. So we could go. In fact, let's do one, two, three. Oh, not there. Not there. There. Why has it done that? Never mind. Let's just try again. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that, that, and that. Let's try copying that again. So if I get you, if we lay it over the top. Just there. Perfect. So one, two, three. So we can get rid of that there then. For some reason, it doesn't like getting rid of the walls. Okay. That's fine. And then is that that would be enough because we've only got what one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's a big space. <laughs> How are we going to fill that? I mean, realistically, we should just make it smaller. We chop away like all of this, and then we have this bit further back. That would be actually be more sensible. Sensible, sensible. Yeah, much. That would be much more sensible. Um, but I think we can we can probably pad it out. A couple of shops. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Let's get rid of that. Let's throw in the wall, which is going to run along here. And then down here. So that's a, that's the hard boundary, isn't it? So we're going to go for that security. Oh yeah, security's got to go down here as well. So it's not actually that big a space. Now, now I'm thinking about it. Because we've got security, passport, control as well. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's do a little bit of cheating. Grab that. I like the layout of this security zone that I've got, so we're gonna we're gonna pinch some of that. We're gonna pinch that much of it. And we're gonna have we will have to double this up. Because I don't think it, it, this can quite keep it up. So we're going to put that. Realistically, we should put it. Okay, okay. Let's just get rid of you. Good. Let's get security in first. So let's grab the co planning tool first of all. Let's grab the copy tool. We're going to grab just this portion of it. Like so. And then we're going to spin you around. And we're going to put that about here. Right. And it's not copying the desks in. But that's fine. I don't mind it not copying the desks in. I'm going to put you in here. Right. That's our two security zones. So now let's... We'll secure that all off. So if I zap that, zap to do that like that, that should solve that. And then we can, should be, be able to get these security desks in, which is, I want to go. Wait, there's a large one now? Ooh, when did we get that? Well, we'll have it. It looks cool. And I put that. No, I haven't. Why put that in? No, that's fine. One, two, three. Okay, we can only get three of these in. That's fine. That means we might have to do a little bit of a, a jiggery pokery around here. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. We should get there. Get rid of that. Put you in there. That's fine like that. So we're going to jiggery pokery this round. Get rid of that, and we go back to our zoning, secure zone, just re-highlight that, re-highlight that. We'll work out how we're going to do staff, but what I want to do is, I need we will need much more space, so we're going to copy this, and we'll actually drag that forward to about here, to there. 
I'm going to get rid of that. That. And even though it's only a copy, you can't get rid of the wall. So manually go, go, go. That's left a lot less space now. Now, now you want to get security and then passport control, I think, we'll put over this side. Oh, no. No, why would I do that? Why would I do something as dumb as that? So they're going to go through security. We're going to... I should have just manually done this, shouldn't I? Rather than try and pad this out. Right, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this bit. Okay. And we're going to get rid of this bit. So I think six for the big airplanes, where there's almost three times more people going through, is probably useful. We're going to have a manual security checkpoint here, once we've got all of this redone. And this one is going to be a... It's going to be a small one. I'm going to put two in for the staff. Okay, so we're just going to go back a little bit here. To there. I don't think we're going to have much issue with that in respect to the staff. That goes there. We'll put a wall in there, 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 and that. And then we just throw in a little thing there. There we go, right. And we could probably do something like that. Yeah, that looks alright. And then for the passengers, that's enough space. We're going to secure this all off by just zapping that straight down to there. Get rid of that. So that's the new secure area. Now we need to go into here. Now, the way this works is wherever you have an international zone, you need you can have the passport. Uh, you're traveling to international flights, must present their passport checkpoint, have their passport screen and receive international clearance. Automated ones. Now, the automated ones, I think, are more expensive, aren't they? No, they're not. So why would you go for the one with people? Hmm. It's a good question, actually, and each one of these, I say, needs at least three. So, international, let's secure all of this off. Give it that blue check it as well. And let's just see how far into the zone we need. Oh, wow, we can be quite far out. So, if that is... The people go through here, don't they? There's the scapper, there's the scanner, there's the x-ray. So they're going to come through this side. So really the passport control should be this side. Yeah, let's put... I think two gates is more than enough. Well, really, we could have it down here, but okay. One, two. One, two. One. Wait, what's it in line with? It's in line with the big round thing. That one isn't. That's in line one fifty fifty. That's 50-50. That is wrong place. That needs to be that side. There. Oh, there, there. Go on, in you go. So you're going there, there, and lastly, there and there. Right. That, in theory, should now be pretty much everything we need to worry about. And if I put a wall in like this, is that right to have the wall there and then just bring that across to there Oop, there and then straight down would we need a wall here as well at the gate no I think that would be fine there and then the passengers can fly through I don't want to separate the two sides I think that's enough they can go through here travel through all of that and that will then take them to the main set of stairs which will then take them upstairs all right we'll, we'll do check-in in a bit i want to get security done maybe we could do check-in over here and then we'll find a way of blocking this all off somehow um anyway maybe no check no check-in over here really i should push security over this side now i think about it that would have made more sense that would have made a lot more sense because that wall can't exist where it stands because people need to get upstairs. And they can only get upstairs where there's a building on top, naturally. So if we go here, if I go that, if I put that there and then go down, I put step that there. So one, 
Then we're going to go for... I'm not going to bother with the thingies because people don't use them. I'm going to put in two lifts there. I'm going to put in two lifts there. And last but not least, the escalator can go in there. That is now the international area. And we're going to seal this all off. Like that. like that what have I done that for come on go into that yeah that's fine so let's just grab some more lifts and put them up against here come on there there and lastly the walls Cool, so that should now block all of that off. Missed one. Cool, right, that's now... Ooh, hang on. There's this bit here, any ceiling, and this bit here. So, let's zone all of this in. Okay, so it needs to be secure as well. Okay, so if I do that, then do that, that'll be fine. If I now go up, page up, there we go. Yeah, that's going to throw wobbly because it's a different zones. Which I can work with. That's fine. Let's secure zone all of this. Let's secure zone all of this. And lastly, we'll secure all of this. Oh, we just need to international all of this as well. And there. And in here. And last little bit is here. Cool. So that's all now signed off nicely, hopefully. With no issues whatsoever. He says, waiting for it all to go wrong. And we just need to throw in a wall here. There. The wall continues down to here. Perfecto. Perfecto. There you go. And then we'll worry about the rest of it later. We are making money. Oh, actually, we've not built anything to make not make money. Okay, so this, they're going to go through here. International zone back there. Where does this block off? Here. That's absolutely fine. We'll throw some toilets and things in here. Okay, now let's look at the secure, uh, security, the check-in areas. So I'm thinking uh, we go here. What? The baggage claim units. Now, do we, I, you know what? We're going to put them all together. We're going to put them all together at the back here. A little, little bit of gap. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to go for the automated checking things. How have I got them down here? Because I put a lot in down here. Do I like that design? It's okay. I think we do. If we do something like that, I think we're going to have to do something like this. Little stars. Little star pods, because we, well I don't know, I think they'd do this in real life. So if we do little stars, like this. I generally, I'm sure I've seen them do this sort of design. I don't know what the, there's a reason behind it. Or is it just to try and keep people separate? I, I genuinely don't know, but I th think, you know what? I think it looks alright. I don't know if we do just one more here, I think. Yeah. It's not taking up all the space I was expecting, but... That goes there. Get you to go delete you. Is that one there triggering people's OCD? Because it's definitely triggering mine. Okay, we're having... We're just going to... There. Is that right? Uh, no, it's not. That shouldn't be there. It should be here. Right? Right? Is that right? No, it's not. That's not right either. Okay. What have I done wrong? Let's try that again. That's that design. Kappa 3 is there. Kappa 3 is there. 
There should be one here, right? Yeah, but we're not doing one there. We're going to put one here, here. We don't want some over there, and we'll just put in... In fact, no, we're not having them there. We're not. But we, I do like the pillars there, actually. Be there, there. There and there. Yeah, I like the pillars there. I think that looks cool. So here, we'll do... We'll leave that as it is. So I think that looks alright. We might make this wall a bit shorter later on. But I think that, at the moment, that is not a bad start. Just once they're up here, let's just quickly have a look at the... They can get across to here, right? Okay, so what I think we can do... We can just start building all of that. So let's start with this bit. And then... Uh, we don't want to build that just yet. We really don't want to build that just yet. All this bit, we need to sort the baggage out and get that connected. And to do that, we need to throw in a magic wall. There. And we just need to sort this out here. Secure. It doesn't need to be international. No, wrong one. Doesn't need to be international. Cool. And yeah, I know you're throwing a pat tantrum. But that's, yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's just me. Just me. It's just me messing up. Just me. Not to worry. Bags. And um, it's these guys. Now I have a feeling I only need at least two of these. So we're going to put one there, one there. It doesn't leave as much for the security of the bags, so this could be fun. So we're going to do an automated one, which is the out on there, there. One there, and one there. I'm going to do stage two. Goes here. Here. Now, I don't know if this is the right way of doing the security, but it's the way I've always done it, and it seems to have not had any issues. I usually have more issues if I try something fancy rather than just putting all the different ones in. I know in reality you wouldn't have them in like this. But right now, reality isn't what we're after. We just want it to work. <laughs> just please work. A little bit of a gap there. Just gives a bit more space. And last but not least, you. And you. And then the baggage killer. One there. One there. So in theory, this, if I go here, the baggage belts. Yes, I know I'm building this. But that's fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, actually, that's wrong there. It's there. To there. You're straight down to here. You're to there, to there, there, to there. Right. You're all there. You're there. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Straight up. Let's try that again. Why is... Th Come on. God, it's wrong when the, even your autosaves take eight foot <laughs> quarters of the game to just lag that little bit. That's fine. So now you go to here. You go to here. That's that's okay now. Now we're kind of getting there. So you go to here. Right. So you, where are they? Are oh, back here? Are going to be here? Are going to go to? this point here, you're going to come to this point here, and we're going to just go down from there. I think that should be okay. If I get rid of that, let's have a look at the, the conveyors. So if I do that, that's fine. So if I drop down, um, okay, wait, up. Where is the up? Oh, hang on. Hang on. I messed this up. So that doesn't go there or there. 
that goes you then go up here and then rotate into there or you rotate into here right so get rid of you we need to throw a tilt tray in there so that is here, tilt tray is that one, that's there, so that's now set up. You also need that to go to the baggage base, which we don't need to worry about just yet. Actually we do, because where are they going to go, because I've got no space. <laughs> How long ago was it when I said, oh we got loads of space, too much space, we're okay. That didn't last long at all, did it? <laughs> what I might do is move this up. Have baggage claim actually no we could have baggage claim down here somewhere. Uh, needs that will need to go to baggage claim. So from here we'll need to feed into one of these. Now which one does it need to feed into? That's the real question. Um, into here, right? Yeah. So that's where we need to feed into. And naturally it's pointing the wrong way. So we're just gonna go there and where is it over here god that seems like a really long distance to there we are going to run as close to this edge of the perimeter as we can if we bring that down to here because we're not 100 percent sure where baggage is going yet what's wrong with all of these guys Wait, what? Show the zoning. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I'm really confused to why are they throwing a hissy fit? They can come down here, go straight down here. Connecting to that, right? Oh no, it's not that. It's not what I wanted to build. Yes. Did I accidentally delete some of that? I must have. How did I do that? I don't know. Anyway, that will solve that issue. Okay. Back down to back to baggage. <laughs> back to baggage. <laughs> Okay, we do need to have a think of where we're going to put in baggage claim. And I'm thinking we just have a separate area over here. But we'll leave that till next one on, because this one's already gone on for a bit longer than I was hoping. Um, I was hoping this would be much simpler. I really was. Um, and then we can get this airport, the large airplanes, up and running. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Any comments, suggestions, leave them a bit below. And I shall see you guys next time. Take care. Ta-ra.